Hey everyone, welcome to the West Coast Barbell Club Exercise Library. Right now we're going to have a quick chat about the overhead press. Now please forgive me, we're not inside the covered gym space at the moment, so you might not get the best view of this, okay? But it's compromise we need to make in order to get these videos out for all our online clients, okay? So the reason we're out here is obviously with the overhead press, we're fully extending the R uh, bar above our head, and I don't have headroom at my height to be able to do that inside our gym space at the moment, so we're going to be doing it out here. That means we're also going to be performing a power clean to get bar into position to perform the set, okay? So it's going to be a useful thing for you to learn if you don't have access to a rack in order to perform these, okay? However, if you do have access to a rack and perform an overhead press, if you see overhead press in your program, I am anticipating having you do it walked out of a rack as opposed to from the floor, okay? That said, power clean shouldn't take too much out of you if you do need to do one of those first, okay? So to begin with, let's quickly discuss the power clean to get into position. Okay. You're going to set up much like a deadlift, deadlift, albeit with a slightly more upright posture. And to keep it simple, we're just going to think about keeping the bar nice and close to our body as we initiate the pull. And then to extend our hips nice and quickly and come up onto our toes. So we're getting our body into full extension, like we're about to perform a jump. Okay. And from that position there, we want to keep the bar nice and close to our body. So we're going to shrug up and drop our elbows under keeping our elbows nice and high, okay? You don't want to reverse curl the bar out in front of you, okay? So that's gonna look a little bit like this. Okay, that gets us into our setup, okay? From there, an overhead press should look like this. So the keys to that there, nice, strong posture, squeezing the bum, relatively wide stance to have a nice big base of support, okay? And with a conventional overhead press, we can get a little dip out of the bottom position to get a stretch shortening cycle prior to the press, okay? But you can have some lateral movement of the hips. These don't need to be done super strict. However, we don't want to use our legs to get the bar moving because that would be a push press, which is a video that will follow this one shortly, okay? The important part of the movement here is to press it as close to our face as possible, creating a bit of room for the bar to travel before driving our head through the path of the bar, through our arms, to a full lockout with the shoulders and elbows with the bar overhead. Okay. In a well-executed overhead press, you want to be thinking about moving around the bar path yourself rather than pushing the bar around you. The last thing you want is an overhead press where we push the bar out in front of us and compromise our movement efficiency. Okay, that there's our overhead press. If you have those in your program and have any questions about them, just get in touch with me and I'll be happy to help.